demonstrating ways to look after your plants, taking them for a walk, letting you know when they need water, and even dancing when the plant is happy. The company hopes that one day these little bots would be looking after creatures on Mars. Away from the amazing aerobatics of the Farnborough Air Show, the aviation industry is doing big business here and showcasing its newest innovations. One of the mid-term goals of the field is to make electric and then possibly solar-powered planes. Well, these are the first pictures of the latest Airbus Zephyr plane, an unmanned solar aircraft which is currently circling above Arizona, where it's hoped it can stay up continuously for 30 days at altitudes of 70,000 feet in the stratosphere. And today, at Farnborough, Airbus has given us an exclusive look at the new Zephyr S. And this is the UK production facility for the Zephyr S. And there it is, 25 metres long, just those two little propellers. But the most amazing thing, I think, is how much it weighs. 75 kilograms, which is about the same as me. High above commercial aircraft and bad weather, there are two suggested uses for this so-called high-altitude pseudo-satellite. Remote surveillance or as a communication platform in remote parts of the world. So this is reaching out to those 4 billion people in the world today that have no link to the internet and this is a game changer what the Zephyr can bring into play here. So the problem with a satellite, it's great for persistency, but what happens when you want to change a payload? You're not bringing a satellite down and say, let's quickly change the payload. And this is where the beauty of the Zephyr comes in. That's the flexibility. That means we can bring the bird down, we can put a new payload on, and we can send it back up again. And this means we can take the big leaps in technology that are coming, we can take advantage of that and just put it onto Zephyr and send it back up again. However, the main challenge for these types of planes is keeping them aloft at night. Without the sun to power them, they need to rely on rechargeable batteries to keep the propellers turning. The key is to allow the plane to gradually lose height in the dark, but make sure it's still above 50,000 feet by the time the sun rises again. This height is called your dawn altitude. We've just got the news that's come in from the team that we've set a new dawn altitude record of 59,000 feet, which is outstanding and uh, really going beyond uh, the expectations that we even had. Such are the harsh conditions and constant recharging cycle in the stratosphere. The Zephyr will need to come down every three months to have its batteries replaced. And on top of all this, Airbus is also collaborating with Facebook, who recently ditched its own solar plane project, Aquila. Thank you.